Hey y'all, you might be wondering why I sound different. That's That's because- first thing is first, we're going to be pulling out the box. No Roddy Rich. Go check out CBD skin to put water on my face. It does not look like it. I, I don't know if you could use a paintbrush or this brush. Yes. It is not water, it looks like water, but I promise you it is toner. And we're gonna put on both sides because yes, equality is key. SpongeBob, it looks like we are taking SpongeBob. Oh no, that's a Vaseline, okay. Welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know who I am, my name is Ellen, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get this euphoric slash festival y slash simple and easy cornrow hairstyle for going out. While I'm spraying her hair down, I'm going to tell you guys what you're going to need in order to achieve this look. You're going to need a rat tail comb, hair gel, a spray bottle with water, a brush, small rubber bands, and lastly, but this is optional, hair accessories. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure there's no knots in her hair, so really go through it and comb it out, brush it out, and then you're going to want to split the hair in half. What I'm currently doing right now is I'm using the hair gel as a tool in order to better split her hair up because it's more neater that way and there aren't hairs flying out since her hair is actually very silky. I also wanted to note that the type of hair gel I'm using is going to be Ampro and I'm using the one that's in the purple container. I also wanted to mention that when trying to split the hair evenly, you're going to want to look over their head and kind of imagine it being aligned with their nose since their nose is or should be in the center of their head. <laughs> Once you're done creating a straight line that's in the center of the head, you're going to want to tie up one side of the hair so that you can begin separating another section of the hair out because what we're trying to do right now is create two small braids on the top of her head. Sectioning up the hair, you're going to want to tie up the other end in order to keep everything neat and to keep everything separated. Then you're going to want to start braiding the hair. And if you're not sure on how to braid the hair, later in the video I have a slowed down version of how I started it. Basically everything that you do when braiding hair, it doesn't matter what size it is, as long as you're keeping your fingers close to the scalp, it shouldn't look too loose and it shouldn't look messy. What you're going to want to do now is section off the hair the same size as the braid and while you're doing this, Remember to imagine how the section size was because when your hair is braided and you're referencing the braided hair, it's tighter and it looks smaller than what your actual sectioning was. What I do before I start braiding is I gel about an inch of the hair nearest to the scalp and including the scalp. And then I comb the hair so that it's easy to grab while I'm braiding it without it tangling up. Here's a slow down version of me starting off a braid. I'm going to show you guys a more detailed version of starting up a braid, but it's going to be in a separate video, so make sure you subscribe to my channel, and while you're doing that, you might as well like this video too. I'm going to start sectioning up the 
sectioning out a separate section since I finished off the two braids. It's going to be about an inch thick and just make sure you're continuously gelling the hair while you're sectioning it out so it keeps everything nice and neat. Right now we're just going straight back so just keep it a straight line or if you want you could honestly make this your own thing and you can try making it a little squiggly. <laughs> Do whatever you want, have fun with it. If you didn't really get my last slow down version of me starting up a break, here's a better example and it's clearly more clear to see. I'm starting off with three sections and then you can see me going under with the braid and then grabbing it, grabbing some hair, and then going under, grabbing some hair and going under. While braiding the hair back, remember to keep your hands as close as possible to the scalp. Um, I can't stress this enough because doing this makes it easier to just make the braid look nicer. And it also hurts the client or even yourself less when you're closest to the scalp. Once you're done braiding down the hair that's on the scalp, the hair that isn't on the scalp anymore, you're going to want to braid it, leave some hair out to the side, braid it, leave some more hair out to the side, and continue doing that until you tie the hair at the bottom. Once it's tied, you start loosening up your braid, and then when you're done braiding up all this and you have the almost finished look, you're going to want to curl your hair, or if your hair is already curled, it's going to be a curly braid look and kind of cute. I'm sectioning out a bigger section, it's going to be like an inch and a half wide. I'm going to use the gel like I've been using the whole video and then you also want to leave a little bit of the hair because you're also going to make her edges. If your hair ever gets dry while you're doing the braid or you're about to start braiding, make sure that you're keeping it saturated because this gel does kind of flake a little bit. In addition to all of the slow down versions of how I braided the hair or started braiding the hair, this would probably be the best version or angle that I tried to capture in order for you guys to see how I started the braid. So you can see clear, a little bit more clear on how I started it. I grabbed three pieces, I put each piece under each other, and then I just kept grabbing hair, putting it under, grabbing more hair, putting it under, just like how I said in this video. I'm gonna start laying out her edges. What I did in the beginning before I did all these braids was I tried to leave out her baby hairs as much as I could and I also took some of her hair that I just didn't end up braiding just so it could show more, her edges could show more. Um, so before doing this last braid because this hair is going to be attached to the last braid, I started to gel her hair down, then I'm getting a rat tail comb in order to create the shape of her edges, and then after I'm done doing that, I'm going to attach the little strands that are left over to the braid that I'm going to create. The little end part of her hair that's left off afterwards 
shouldn't be in use anymore so what you're going to want to do is add that and incorporate it into the braid off camera i'm going to do the other side of the hair and then i'm going to show you guys the rest of the hair when it's done and here's the finished look thank you guys so much for tuning into my video i hope you guys enjoyed it um, as much as i did making this make sure to like and subscribe put the notification bell on and also comment to see what you want me to do next all right, bye. Oh, if you got a girl, don't